Good morning everyone, welcome to snow day, which means straight photography in the snow, let's go. All right guys, welcome to a new episode, welcome to snow day in Chicago. So today I wanted to go and shoot some street photography in the snow because it looks so cool. I just love it when it's snowing. Now, you might be wondering why the hell am I dressed like that? Well, the truth is, no, actually, let's start with a lie. I love the feeling of being on an expedition, which is actually true, and the feeling of adventure. Now, the truth is, I don't have any other clothing for winter except ski stuff. So it's gonna have to do, because as you know, the whole world tour was in a more like tropical weather. So right now, if you're curious, if you've never shot in the snow, or if you want to shoot in the snow and you don't know how to get the best snow effect, well, here's my first tip, because snow is falling and it's falling at different layers in the sky. You want to shoot at the longer focal length, for example, like 85 millimeter, 135, etc. It's going to look really good because you're going to compress a lot of snow layers into your shots. So right now I'm going to start at 16 millimeter. I know it's counterintuitive. It's because I want to get more of the cityscape. I want to get the buildings. I want to try to get the street. And there is a little parking over there that I saw that looked pretty cool. I think I'm gonna have a view on that train. So let's go try it. Obviously you got it. This is not gonna be a sit down tutorial. This is gonna be on the field. I'm taking you on that adventure. Let's go together. Whew. All right, made it to the sky deck of this parking lot there is absolutely no one which is cool i think we're getting a good view from over here Woo. it's pretty high huh look at that well, let's not drop the camera you guys can see cool i don't know if it gives a lot of uh, effect but i'll try to get a shot out too uh, maybe top down and maybe a little bit of perspective with the the buildings that way we'll see what it gives and after I'll change and uh, shoot with the 7200 tighter on the shot, more compressions on the avenues because Chicago has very, very long avenues. It's gonna look really good. Uh, yeah, let's try to get the first shot. All right, so I think the photo was okay, but wasn't the best. Now I'm just thinking, why don't I take a quick selfie uh, with my expedition clothing in the city? There is not a single human trace over there. So it could be pretty cool, but I have to put the camera here, guys. Like that would be the angle, like that. Then vertical, have the building, have me somewhere over here. Uh, I can try. I'm gonna have to put the timer and run all around, all the way there. I don't know, let's try, let's try. Maybe it's gonna look like crap, but if you don't try, you can never know. Whew. All right, so I don't know exactly how it looks, but uh, I overlaid the photo. Now the fun fact that uh, if you have a Sony, for example, A7 III, A7 R3, is that there is no time-lapse mode yet in the camera. The intervalometer timer comes apparently in the firmware version 3.0. So if you didn't know, hooray, yay, super excited about it. So it means right now I was shooting in burst mode for, I don't know, for a full minute, which means I ended up with 200 shots of the same thing. Not the best use of your memory card, but I was too lazy to grab the intervalometer from my bag. Because whenever it's raining, I don't like to open my bag. Right now, I'm gonna change and I'm gonna go 7200 2.8. I'm gonna get a lot of compression in my shots. And we're gonna continue in the streets. I'm not gonna stay here because it's not that interesting in my opinion. So if you're ready, let's go crush it in the street. Let's get some cool shots. And after I'll debrief and explain to you what I try to grab exactly uh, because when I have the 7200 I can't vlog at the same time. Oh yeah.
All right, guys. Uh, well, it looks like it turned into slush photography because, well, it kind of stopped snowing. It got a little bit warmer. They have been like cleaning up the snow from everywhere in the streets, which means it's it's not as pretty in my opinion. But with that being said, I tried to work on a few different things. And obviously, I don't think those are groundbreaking shots. I don't think they are. Yeah, I, I wouldn't post them as portfolio shots, but I want to share them with you because it also shows that it's important to get out there and to keep shooting. Even if you think it's not the best or whatever, it doesn't matter. This is how we progress. This is our high progress. It's really by taking a lot of bad shots or at least trying different things. So I try, oh wow, what are those geese doing? I tried to frame a few subjects, really trying to isolate them. I also tried to shoot a few details. I'm very surprised because right now we have a geese flying. I didn't know they were here in winter. I thought they would go where it's warm. Who knows? Maybe the deep dish pizza is pretty good for them. I also used a lot of the reflection that was on the floor because as you might have seen, it, everything is wet, which means you have all the lights reflecting on the floor. And since it's not purely bright outside, lots and lots of lights are still on. So you can get a, an interesting mix of light and not light, etc. So at the end of the day, uh, those are the shots. Those are a few techniques that I use that maybe you want to try out if you've never tried them. Try them out, let me know how it goes. If it's warm in your country, just uh, uh, comment a little emoji with the sun because completely different ambience right now. <laughs> and with that being said, guys, I hope you're having an amazing day. I will talk to you in the next episode. I also wanted to thank you for the support on the channel. We are a lot more faces around here, which is pretty cool. So yeah, welcome to the adventures and see you on the next one. Remember, if you like that video, give it a big thumbs up and make sure you subscribe to the channel. Hit the SUBS CRB button, ring the notification bell. It's gonna make you shoot on, it's gonna be amazing. And I will see you on the next adventure. See you guys, bye.